Welcome to the last of the series here, for the moment, of course. We have five minimal desktops and they're all based on the Arch Linux B. So we had this thought, um, well, why not provide a minimal ISO? You have to build anyway. So it results in a ISO that's 600, 700 megabytes less in software. No GIMP, no Inkscape, just one browser, etc., etc., etc. But still, it will not be good enough for everybody. Of course not. We're all individuals who all like to work with, their, with our specific applications. And the B stands for build it yourself, decide, put it on, burn it. You have an ISO. Burn it on USB, boot, and have fun. Now, the procedure is, of course, like any other Article Next build, is all the same. We're going to make a tutorial anyway. Go to your desktop, right mouse click, open a terminal there, Control Shift V, get your code. In this case, it's an open box, minimal code, but it's still the same. Two folders, Arch ISO, a package list, what Lego logs, because I sometimes say Arch Linux is like a Lego, Legoland, all blocks and all things you can do. The fun starts, and this is a tip, follow it, Perl. Everything that's black is not going to come on the ISO. Okay, everything that's white needs to go on the ISO. You just can't, you cannot delete these things about Bluetooth. You don't have it. Just leave it there and uninstall it later. That is an explanation on the form. So we have fun, our fun starts at 260. There, from there on, there are um, possibilities. In the sense that you see that beef is going to be installed. Maybe you don't need that beef, you don't like that beef or genie. And everything that you still see that's white, you can even go down or also up because maybe you've seen many of my, my tutorials use melt. This as well, this project Arch Linux B minimal. I couldn't have done it without melt. So put some in, put some out. Um, that's the message. Open box needs its thin too, but maybe you don't like variety. Shortcuts of variety will not work, obviously. VLC is out and so on and so on. So you decide if you see an application that you know what it is and say, I don't want it, never use it, uh, get rid of it and put a hashtag in front of it. Don't delete it, just hashtag it out. So later when you make a new one, keep this file, compare with melt and say, okay, last time I did this, now it's there. So we will change this package list, of course. So um, you can compare it easily. So you just scroll down and see what you like. Save it. I hope I did. Let's have a check. Control S. No, it was not saved. Control S. So one up, installation script, right mouse click. Going here, going there is better. And the number 30. It's going to build everything, get everything, build everything. It's going to do its thing. You just sit back and, and watch the show, or you can do just like me and get an, uh, get something to drink or to eat. And then in 15, 20 minutes, depending on internet, uh, space on your disk, CPU, memory, etc., you'll get an ISO. And it's that ISO that we want to have, that we want to build. So your own personal selection of software is possible with Arch Linux B and actually with any Arch Linux. Once you see that, that these things are not that different. All these guys are all the same. They work in the same principle. It's just another title, another article, another video. It's still the same thing. And then you understand the power we're giving to you. You have a personalized ISO. Any way you see fit, you can personalize it. All right, enough speeching. Let's wait for this tutorial. So, no, sorry, this script to end. And let's pause here. We are dirty soon. All right. <laughs> we have an output of 1.4 gigabytes in Arch Linux B open box minimal. So that means that you have to go to your desktop, to your home folder, and you have Arch Linux B out, a folder that's created for you. And if you do some tests like I do, 
you have here an open box minimal it's this one so 1.3 gig 1613 that's okay so that's what we've created just now super f7 to launch our virtual box and move it to this screen we are now talking about open box and i guess it's not on here so i have a, a template so make yourself a template so you can easily clone so i will all the settings are okay the size uh, how many processors do you have and all that is done then you have a template that you can easily say open box minimal and then clone it so you can move these things around like so and we have open box min open that's the one we want double click maximize not gonna go full screen because then it's going to screen number two but just let's wait for Alka Linux to load up and of course you know how to install Alka Linux with the Calamaris installer so now it's um, like usual you just go ahead with your next 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 and six seven screens later you have your own open box all right cheers